There's no denying the influence Steve Reeves has had on the weightlifting community. Before the days of Arnold, his success as an actor helped to bring bodybuilding into the mainstream. Today we'll look at how his views on a beginner workout changed from when he first started training compared to what he recommends as an older, more experienced lifter. Steve started training at the age of 16 after being beaten in an arm wrestling competition by a much smaller boy, and it was this boy who introduced Steve to his garage gym and weightlifting. In the book, Building the Classic Physique, Reeves has his first workout listed, having 11 different exercises, each done for one set of 10 repetitions. Six of these exercises he doesn't repeat in his future recommended workout, despite that program having a total of 17 different exercises. Before this video is done, I'll post on the screen an A and B workout that splits these movements between the two, providing a more manageable size program. The warm-up for his training session at 16 was dumbbell swings. He did this also in his Mr. America program, but in his Dynamic Muscle Beginners program, he suggests warming up on a treadmill or bike, which wouldn't have the learning curve dumbbell swings have. Another exercise he did at 16 that would take some practice is the clean. Back in his day, many lifters would incorporate Olympic lifts into their routine, as these were the common weight training movements. Specializing in bodybuilding was relatively unheard of. It's interesting to note that in his first workout, there was no direct tricep or abdominal work. In his Dynamic Muscle Beginners program, he has two exercises for every body part, but only one set of each exercise, which makes it easy to split into an A and B workout, having every major muscle group being worked each session, and since this cuts the number of exercises in half, I'm doing two sets, as it's quicker to do an extra set than set up for a whole new exercise getting more work done in less time. He chose 12 to 15 for his rep range. This is higher than his Mr. America program, where he used 8 to 12 repetitions. He doesn't explain why they're different, but it's easier for a new lifter to perfect an exercise with a lighter weight. Either way, as the lifter gets stronger and can lift more than 15 repetitions, he increases the weight and starts working his way back up to 15 again. This is called double progression. In his workout when he was 16, he just had 10 reps. To progress this, you'd have to try to increase the weight lifted every workout. Because I switched his routine to an A and B workout, I changed a couple of exercises from isolation movements to compound to get more bang for a buck. The first one I changed was chest flies. He has these after chest press, which works great, but doing chest flies on their own in a training session compared to inclined chest press is going to be suboptimal, so I swapped them. The next one is pullovers. Steve has them after bent over rows. Again, a good combination, but pullovers on their own? Better off switching them for lap pulldowns or pull-ups if you can do them. Interestingly, he doesn't have squats in his program, as he had them in his first workout. Here, he opted for leg extensions for the quads and leg curls for hamstrings. These would be simpler movements for a beginner. You could swap them out for squats and Romanian deadlifts if you wanted. For the low back, he did seated forward bends with a barbell. The first time I saw this exercise being done was in a John Meadows video, and he used a dumbbell. It's like seated good mornings, except it takes the hamstrings and glutes out of the movement. If you chose to do Romanian deadlifts instead of hamstring curls, you wouldn't need this exercise. He has three core exercises, sit-ups, leg raises, and side bends. I'd change the sit-ups to crunches. I don't mind leg raises. You could start lying on the floor and gradually advance them to incline and then a captain's chair. The obliques are worked better with a twisting movement like Russian twists or a cable or band wood chop. Steve Reeves was back in a time when bodybuilding was just starting to come into its own and all that existed was bro science. And how did Steve's bro science measure up to modern day research? Watch this video next to find out and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.